What is up? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're here for another Marvel Legends Black Panther unboxing on our way to building Okoye Build-A-Figure. We have Nakia here up next. We're going to unbox and review this figure and uh, see how we do. So here she is. This is one of the figures that I was able to get from Walmart here in Canada. I made a blowout for seven Canadian dollars. Very, very pleased to pay that price. Little description about her. You can pause it and read that. Remember the Dora Milaje. There's another one of these at the EB Games in town. One of the EB Games has this in town. I'm thinking I should buy it because when the next wave, Black Panther wave comes out, there's gonna be another Dora Milaje soldier, I guess you'd call them. And it'd be cool to be able to swap pieces to make unique other people. These chest pieces are very similar. The torsos are similar. Interesting. I wonder... Yeah, no, they're almost the same. The collar's different on this one. Anyway, let's dive right into the figure as we work our way towards building Okoye. Because that is what I want to do. I want to collect the MCU figures. The MCU is what got me back into action figures in the first place. I wasn't actually going to get into action figures until all these MCU figures started coming out. And then I realized, wait a minute, I like action figures a lot. We'll just come down here. A uh, brief little interruption in your sound. If you don't want to go deaf, I suggest you keep your earbuds out for a second. Go. Okay. We have T'Challa's ex-girlfriend, sort of, sometime girlfriend, Nakia. I think her elbow goes that way. That was kind of weird looking. Okay, the neck joint on these girl figures is just so weird. Just in general. Not necessarily this figure, just all of them. First impression, I'm not a fan of the figure, to be honest. It's uh, It's got some issues. First off, let's start with the neck. She can look up really far, which is cool. It's very unusual. She can look really far down, but straight on, the neck is too long. Like, way too long. I wish I had... A picture from the movie ready to go. I guess in a dynamic pose you won't notice it as much. Yeah, even here. The neck is too long. Doesn't look right. Doesn't look human. It's not it's not a cultural thing in, in like it's just that doesn't look right. It looks anatomically incorrect. Uh, shoulders, this one's got this armor plating. So you can't actually lift this one up, but this one goes all the way up. Uh, you've got single jointed elbows, as is usually the case on female Marvel Legends figures. Wrist articulation, bends forwards, bends back. This one's the same. You've got um, ab crunch, which is a swivel, which is nice. You can get pretty dynamic with that. No waist swivel. The hip joints are generous. Can kick forward this far. Can only go back this far. This caping is glued on. It's not, it's, it might even just be a peg in the back, but it's not moving. You're not gonna be able to do anything with that. Uh, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, as one would expect on all Marvel Legends figures. We do not have a boot cut. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But the toe, toes point up this far and down this far. And she comes with her weapons. Which appears to be just the rings. 
If I'm not mistaken, the other little weapon is for Okoye. So we will give her her weapons. No alternate heads, no alternate hands. So this is why you'd want to maybe get one of these for the next wave so you could customize and come up with creative ways of, I guess she's looking this way, creative ways of incorporating different parts from these figures to make your own custom King's Guard Force. Weapon number two. Oh wow, don't break the thumb, man. Come on, take it easy. Holy smokes. What's the pose on the back here? That's kind of cheesy. We want to have a, a good looking dynamic pose. What's it gonna be? I think we're gonna go with this. I want the knees to be bent, but I think the knee joints can't take it. What I wanna accomplish. That works. Not really. Yeah, okay, that's closer. I guess I am just gonna copy the back of the box. The, the detailing is nice, like they kind of all go together really well. I'm really happy about that. The wave is consistent, and I think that's important. Um, I like that the, the color palette is kind of the same. That the armor all kind of looks in the right place, the gold detailing all kind of matches. I think it looks pretty good. The proportions of the figure though, the neck looks wrong. But like this, you can't really notice it. You turn the head off of center and then it looks okay. And the legs kind of bother me too. There's no, no boot cut, which kind of, I think you kind of need it for a figure to be, look really dynamic in the posing. Cause otherwise the feet are pointing the wrong way when you're trying to do something that looks exciting with the figures. But there she is next to Eric Killmonger and next to Black Panther T'Challa. She comes with Okoye's torso and weapons. And uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna build next. We're gonna build Okoye next. We're gonna skip a couple of figures because I'm only interested in MCU. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, should be good. I'm just gonna take a look at some pieces here. So, so far for Okoye, we have her head, which comes with T'Challa. We have her leg, her left leg, that comes with Eric Killmonger. We have her torso now and her weapons that come with Nakia. And uh, I'm gonna get this ready to go, because that's going to be what we film right now. Really cool looking spear. I like the detailing on that. Yeah, I think she just holds that piece. I'm pretty confident that that's Okoye's and it's not uh, not one of Nakia's weapons. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing and review. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the figure. Uh, if you're looking to go back and get these figures, I would recommend trying to find them online somewhere that's just trying to blow them out at clearance price. For whatever reason, this wave was not highly sought after and it's not high in demand. If you don't mind secondhand figures, I'd recommend getting them used. Uh, but if you care about new in box figures, I would definitely recommend uh, looking at your options because I'm sure you can find them cheap. Probably not seven Canadian dollars cheap anymore, but I'm sure you can find them relatively affordable compared to paying full retail for them. So 
That's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Be excellent to each other. Peace.